Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Ahmed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, at the Safiya Palace. His Highness extended congratulations to His Majesty over the National Guard's 24th anniversary. His Majesty commended the efforts of His Highness and the affiliates of the National Guard in defending the nation and stressed that the National Guard has become a strong force that defends the kingdom's sovereignty, security, stability and achievements alongside the BDF and public security forces. His Majesty praised the National Guard's level of training and readiness and requested His Highness to convey his greetings and congratulations to the National Guard personnel as well as his wishes of further success. He also praised the drill al Badr 5 held jointly between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army, which affirms the depth of the bilateral ties. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his directives and ongoing support for the National Guard and prayed for the protection of His Majesty as the kingdom develops further. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the long standing Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and the Kingdom's commitment to advancing them across all levels in order to meet the aspirations of both countries, noting the support they received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness also expressed thanks to His Highness the Emir for his efforts and Kuwait for its sincere endeavors to create new opportunities for joint Gulf cooperation, underscoring the importance of continuing this work to fulfill the aspirations and hopes of GCC citizens for a more prosperous presence and future. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 24th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continuous support and his vital role in developing the National Guard's readiness and competence to perform its noble duty of protecting the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to the National Guard commander in response to his cable, where he expressed his sincere congratulations to His Highness and to the National Guard's commissioned and non-commissioned officers and affiliates. His Royal Highness commended their efforts in protecting and preserving the gains of the homeland, according to the directives of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received Pakistan's Chief of Army Staff General Qamar Jaweed Bajwa at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted various aspects of bilateral ties, particularly within military and defense cooperation. He lauded the strength of relations between both countries and the role it plays in promoting regional security and stability. His Royal Highness then presented the Chief of Army Staff with the Bahrain Order First Class, conferred upon him by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for making significant contributions to defend cooperation between Bahrain and Pakistan. After that, regional and international developments were reviewed. General Bajwa expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for conferring upon him the Bahrain Order First Class, as well as for his interest in developing the bilateral ties demonstrated by His Royal Highness. The BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diabin Sagar al Naimi, was also present. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, to attend the concluding ceremony of Al Badr 5, a joint exercise between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army. The event that coincided with the 24th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard was attended by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Pakistan's Chief of Army Staff, General Qamar Jaweed Bajwa, and senior security officers. Upon the arrival of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa at the ceremony, accompanied by the National Guard Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, he was received by senior National Guard officers and Pakistani Army Forces officers. The commander of the Special Operations Unit, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he expressed congratulations on the anniversary, stressing that it was gaining in stature as a result of the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Salman expressed thanks to Pakistan's Chief 
of army staff for attending the ceremony and to the Pakistani army affiliates for participating in the exercise. He added that the National Guard under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed has turned into a protective force to defend the sovereignty of the country. He also expressed gratitude for His Majesty's patronization of the celebrations with the National Guard's success in defending the kingdom's sovereignty under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The commander of the Pakistani participating force also delivered a briefing on the exercise and on its significance in exchanging experiences between the two sides in combating terrorism through the application of several security situations. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa affirmed that the support of His Majesty the King to the National Guard is part of the attention accorded to the security services, as His Majesty always strives to upgrade the defense and security aptitudes into a model force to be emulated in the region. He added that al Badr maneuvers reflected the high levels of precision in carrying out counter-terrorism operations by members of the National Guard and their brothers from the Pakistani army, participating in the exercise through the application of military operations in various environments and terrains, and in dealing with terrorist threats in several joint military and security field situations. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, followed up on the qualifying rounds of the Family Race Tournament of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held at the Bahrain Endurance Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on following the race of the 20 young horsemen, to whom His Highness offered encouragement and advice. The event was attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Coordination, Implementation and Follow-up Committee at the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, as well as the Brief President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed happiness over the participation in this race and said that brief under the leadership of Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah is achieving its objectives by instilling confidence in the young horsemen. His Highness affirmed that the Federation will continue to organize such races, which requires the cooperation of all, as was witnessed in the National Day Tournament and the His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Cup. Regarding the His Regarding the His Highness Sheikh Khalid 120 km race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that competition will allow the participations to compete in achieving the best possible results, and all indications show that it will display high levels of performance and readiness, as was reflected in the National Day race. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed appreciation for the support and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser for endurance races, which affirms the importance of the sport in the kingdom. He said that the participation of the horsemen will enhance the level of the competition, all of whom possess high levels of experience competitiveness as witnessed in the National Day race. He wished all stables the best of luck and praised the efforts of the organizers at brief.
The competitors were then crowned at the end of the race. The Bidi of Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the Chief of Staff of Pakistan's Army General Qamar Jawid Bajwa and his accompanying delegation in the attendance of the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and the Bidi of Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. The Bidi of Commander-in-Chief lauded the depth of the distinguished relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, praising the steady progress of bilateral ties at all levels, especially in terms of military and defense cooperation. Also present were the Director of the BD of General Command's Court, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, the Assistant Chief of Staff for Supply and Catering, Rear Admiral Yusuf Ahmed Malallah, the Director of Maintenance and Technical Supply, Rear Admiral Anwar al Jodar, and a number of senior BDF officers. The longest stage of the Dakar Rally 2021 was the challenge ahead of Bahrain Raid Extreme for Stage 4. Sebastian Loeb and Nani Roma had to make the 813-kilometer journey from Wadi Dawasar to Riyadh, taking on 476 kilometer of road and 337 kilometer of special stage driving. With nine World Rally Championship titles to his name, Sebastian Loeb needed to no invitation and using his experience with his type of driving. Avoiding any punctures, but with a slight navigational error, Loeb finished the stage fourth, but was handed a five-minute penalty for speeding on the stage, resulting in a final stage ranking of seventh. Nani Roma continues to climb the rankings as he and co-driver Alex Winock cement their partnership that started just days before the first stage of the rally. Roma completed stage 4, 13th for the day and 10th overall. The Dakar rally leaves Riyadh towards uh, Qaisuma for stage 5 on a 661 km route with 205 km of road and 456 km of special stage driving. Um, I think it was a good day. We are not far from the, the lead. We, we are two and a half minutes behind. I think it's approximately what we lost turning for looking for, for one or two tracks. but. Uh, Overall, we did a good stage, uh, no problem with the car at all, and uh, no puncture today. Uh, I pushed hard all the stage, and so happy of the result of the day. Yeah, it, uh, it's okay, it's a faster stage. Yeah? We, we try to do the, yeah, the, the best that we can. Uh, not easy navigation in some areas, but yeah, we are happy to be here. The car is okay, we have one puncture in one place, but anyway, it's part of the, 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 the race, and uh, but yeah, we are happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some ones, but uh, yeah, it's part of the cross country. 
across country, it's, it's like that, you know. It's navigation, it's not only speed. This means that, yeah, we are, we are okay to be here. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,500 with 218 recoveries and 289 registered new cases. 145 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 131 are contacts of active cases and 13 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.